Ever since I announced that I'm hiking the Appalachian Trail this year, there's been a lot of people asking me about the gear that I'm gonna take with me. And so I thought I would uh, make a short little video uh, just to kind of share uh, what gear I have picked up, uh, what gear I plan on using, and tell you a little bit about it. So the uh, goal in all of my gear was to keep it as lightweight as possible because everything that I am going to be taking with me is going to be on my back. I'm going to carry it all, you know, in my backpack there. And I'm going to be taking it to the top of mountains and then back down the mountains again. So uh, goal, again, was to keep it as lightweight as possible and to go uh, best we can as far as gear uh, to increase your chances of success. And so uh, we're going to go through this gear here together. And I thought I would start with the big three, and the big three uh, in the hiker community is uh, your backpack, uh, your tent, and uh, your sleeping bag. And so, this is my pack. This is the Hyperlite 3400 uh, Wind Rider. And I picked this pack, super lightweight. It's just an open bag, there's no uh, different compartments in it, so it makes it uh, convenient to just stuff everything down in there. Made of Dyneema material, which is waterproof uh, and very uh, durable. So that's my pack, the Hyperlite. As far as my tent, I went with the Big Agnes uh, Tiger Wall UL2. Holes are in here. Tent is in here. Uh, ground cloth. A tent, cover, everything in here. Uh, and again, super lightweight, uh, very comfortable. I've used it uh, quite a few times already. I love this thing. So that's my tent, Tiger Wall from Big Agnes. Sleeping bag. Went with uh, the sleeping bag from Enlightened Equipment. And this is the Convert. And what is cool about this thing is, it is, uh, I can I can zip it up, cinch the bottom down, and it, it's like a traditional sleeping bag. Or I can uncinch the bottom, unzip the thing, and it just spreads out like a regular quilt, which is nice uh, for me. Uh, I like to sleep with my feet hanging out, not trapped inside a bag. And so uh, if I want to do it that way, I can. If it's a really cold night, I can I can zip it up, cinch it up, and, and tuck in nice and warm. And so again, that is the. Uh, uh, enlightened uh, equipment, a 20 degree down sleeping quilt. I got this thing to go along with it. This is from Sea to Summit, and this is a 20 degree bag liner. Again, if the super cold night out and uh, just a little chilly, I can put this inside the bag, warms up a little bit more. My sleeping pad is the Nemo Tensor. And this is the pad that I'll uh, inflate and lay my sleeping bag out upon. And this is what keeps the ground from sucking all the body heat out of you. This thing is uh, rated, uh, it has an R value of 4.2. R value is, uh, you know, rated for the cold. And so 4.2 is really, really good. Use this thing out some very cold nights already. Very, very warm. Love this thing as well. So the Nemo Tensor. Nemo Philo Pillow. I've got it inflated right now. It takes like three breaths to blow this thing up. But you, uh, you unplug this thing here, all the air goes down, smushes down to super small and uh, lightweight. I like a smushed up pillow anyway, flat. So perfect for me. Uh, let's see. Over here, I went with the bear canister. Uh, a lot of people go with just a, a bear bag and they hang it in the tree. Uh, but I went with a bear canister. Uh, it's a little heavier than a bear bag, but uh, for myself, I think it'll be easier when I get to camp uh, to just pull this thing out. I don't have to go find a tree. I don't have to try to hang the bear bag in there. And so for me personally, uh, this uh, bear canister is really good. It fit all my food in here that I need. Um, I put some reflective tape on it. So uh, if it's uh, out there, because with this, you have to put this away from camp. You gotta store all your food away from camp so it doesn't attract bears in to where you're sleeping and where you're camping. And so all my food will go in here. I take this, I think it's uh, uh, you know a good distance, whatever, 200 yards or whatever it's supposed to be. 
away from the camp, store it for the night, go get it the next morning. And again, if it's uh, if a bear's tossed it around in the woods, like a, a soccer ball or whatever, maybe reflective tape will help find it. So bear canister, keep all my food in. Speaking of food, uh, this is my cook system. I went with the Optimus uh, cook system. And I've had this for quite a while and it works great. <clears throat> Everything I need to cook, uh, make coffee, cook the food, is right in here. You take the top off, it's got a little, makes a little pan. You can cook stuff in there. Also on the inside, or for the other half, is another you know pot. You put your water in, you boil it and stuff. So inside of this, this is the lid. Inside of here, you have your fuel. And on top of the fuel canister, have this little guy right here a little burner and it just attaches to the top screws in there these guys fold out put your cup on there fire it up I got a lighter in here to, to get the fire going and it takes a minute or two to get your water boil uh, easy peasy and so that's the uh, Optimus uh, cook system and again, I've had this for a, a long time and it uh, works great. I uh, never had any trouble with it at all. And so that's what I'll be doing all my cooking on. Sea to Summit, um, I believe it's a titanium a spoon. Light, light, light. Uh, eat all your food with. You get one of those uh, mountain house meals or whatever. It's a, it's a long spoon, so you don't have to get all the food out of the bottom with it. And so it's very convenient. Got my AT guide here. I'm going to take that along with me. Uh, this book just uh, shows you where all the uh, the campsites are, uh, the shelters are, where all the water sources are, uh, where the towns are. That gives you mileage uh, in there. And so it's really informative. Uh, kind of helps you keep track of where you're at on the trail. I will say this though, the AT is marked by white blazes and those are little uh, strips of white paint on the trees and it's marked all the way to the trail. So uh, between this, the white blazes and then uh, some apps and, and the GPS stuff, super, very hard to get lost. So, uh, but this is just nice uh, to have. I'm taking my hiker hunger trekking poles with me. Uh, these are, uh, again, super, super lightweight. Uh, I believe, I believe they're uh, carbon fiber is what they're made of, I'm pretty sure. And I've had these for uh, quite a good number of years. Uh, they've, they've went on a lot of hikes with me, got a lot of miles on them, and they've, they've done really well. So tried and true, just gonna take them with me. Gotta hit this here, this is my poop kit. Uh, inside here, uh, is the deuce of spades trowel. Go out in the woods if you need to do your business. Dig a little hole with this thing. Again, super, super lightweight. Got some hand sanitizer in here. I got some uh, 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 wet wipes uh, to uh, clean up. I, I still need to get some uh, a roll of TP to put in here. Uh, but that's my little uh, poop kit there. We'll get into some clothes, what I'm gonna be wearing. Little wool beanie from REI, keep the bald head warm. <laughs> My old Cabela's uh, nasty hat that I, I have hiked in for a long time. It's just disgusting, but works well on the trail. I'm gonna take it with me, keep the sun off my bald head, uh, keep the rain off my glasses too. Other clothes. So for the colder weather, I have a pair of smart wool long johns and most of these clothes that I picked are made of uh, merino wool. If you're familiar with that, you know it's, it's a great thing. Merino wool uh, holds, its, uh, holds the heat in even when it's cold really well. It uh, doesn't hold odors, uh, which is really nice because out on the trail, when you're four or five days between towns, uh, you will get to stink in a little bit, but these things don't hold odor, odor very well, so uh, it'll help with that. But a pair of long johns uh, for if it's really cold hiking, uh, but mainly these will be used uh, for sleeping in. 
I have a long sleeve shirt here. Again, smart wool uh, for you know colder weather, a colder hiking. Uh, I can use that uh, like merino wool again. <clears throat> have a pair of long uh, pants. These kind of windbreaker pants. Um, Patagonia is what I went with these. Uh, and again, these are just for if it's a chilly morning, uh, you can put these on to hike in. Uh, and if you need an extra layer at night, if it's super, super cold, throw those on. I got two pair of shorts that I'll use the entire time. These are both um, uh, Vori shorts. I've, I've hiked in these, they're super comfortable, really nice. And so I got uh, two pair of those. Uh, I'll use those the entire hike. Uh, two, uh, two short sleeve shirts. I have the one long sleeve, but I have, again, this merino wool. Uh, two of these short sleeve shirts that I'll wear when it's warmer out. A gray one, black one. Two pair of underwear. Uh, these are from Saks. And these are great underwear. Again, uh, material doesn't hold odors and, and uh, really good for the trail. And so I got two pair of underwear for the hike. Two pair of darn tough socks. And if you ever need a great, great pair of socks, darn tough, that's the way to go. Merino wool, they won't stink. And they keep your feet warm even when it's wet. And so I got two pair of socks <coughs> to take along with me. Cold weather, I got a pair of, um, these are from Z-Packs. Uh, these are, uh, what are these? I can't remember what these are, but these are some gloves from Z-Packs. Uh, wool, so when the weather's colder, keep your hands nice and warm. I have a, a Patagonia fleece jacket uh, to hike in if it's, it's cool outside. Got a puffy jacket from uh, Decathlon, and I've used this as well. Uh, very, very nice. And uh, this will mainly be uh, to sleep in, again, if it's cold outside. Uh, the fleece more for hiking. This is more for your camp, uh, your camp jacket, sleeping at night. I got a pair of fingerless gloves here uh, to use for my trekking poles, kind of keep blisters off, kind of keep uh, that from taking place. And these are just my old mountain biking gloves I had out in the garage. And so I just grabbed those Bell uh, mountain biking gloves. I've had them for years, they, they tried and true, good stuff. All the clothes that I won't be wearing will go into this uh, stuff sack. It's the Sea to Summit uh, stuff sack. And so the stuff I'm not wearing will go in here and uh, stuff down into uh, my pack. This is all my rain gear. And so uh, it's going to be wet out there. Uh, there's going to be rainy days. And so all my rain gear is in here. What I got here is a Marmot Precip Jacket. And uh, everything is everything is folded up. It folds up into itself. And so this is the jacket itself. I just unzip it and unfold it. And I got all my rain, other rain gear in here. Uh, so I got the Marmot Precip jacket. I got a pair of Z-Pax Avertis pants in here. And also Z-Pax rain mitts. And so if it's, rain, if it's really cold and raining, I can put those uh, uh, wool gloves on. And then I can put those... Uh, uh, rain mitts over top and so uh, the rain will soak my gloves through and so this is all my rain gear that I'll need Got a little sit pad that uh, What is this uh, therma rest? Just a little sit pad. You know stop for lunch uh, Sitting on a rock or whatever it's cold you can put this underneath of you It's a little softer than a rock or wherever so it's something to sit on while you're eating lunch taking a break do have a canister of bear spray. Uh, I will be hiking through the heart of bear country. And so just a, an added a layer of protection uh, in case uh, a bear gets too friendly. Uh, I can, uh, it's kind of like mace is what it is. Uh, you know, you spray it to detour the bear. Uh, you try all the tricks to get the bear to go away. This is a last resort, uh, but this stuff is good. Plus, this will work on any, uh, any uh, weirdos uh, out there on the trail too. Now that gives me any trouble. So, um, uh, bear spray. This is my Sawyer Squeeze water filter. And uh, everything, uh, all the water sources, uh, the water will, be have, will have to be filtered. 
uh, so I don't get sick or some stomach problems or whatever. So uh, I've got this Seanock uh, uh, Outdoors um, pouch. It holds uh, three liters of water, which is plenty. And so you, you go to the water source, you fill this up, you attach uh, your filter onto it, and then you take just a regular smart water bottle um, and then squeeze it all down uh, through the filter in here and it's good to drink. So I'm going with the Sawyer Squeeze. I got this little cork ball and I cannot remember the company that makes it, but uh, I've heard that these are good for uh, massage and sore muscles, leg muscles and stuff at the end of the night. So I've never tried these before, but figure I'd give it a whirl. Shoes. Merrill, um, I went with my Merrill. I, I've, I've used Merrill's for years. And so I've tried a couple other pair, different brands, and they just tore my feet up. And so I, I stuck with uh, the Merrill's. Uh, these are the Moab 3's. And I got a new pair. Uh, my other ones were getting pretty rough. Uh, but this is a new pair. I've used, it, uh, used them a few times. I uh, went a, a half size bigger than I usually wear because your feet swell out on the trail. And so I went with a half size bigger. Uh, but these are great, great, uh, tough shoes. Uh, they'll, they'll withstand a lot of uh, punishment on the trail. They are not waterproof, and I've had people ask me about that, but they're not waterproof. Out on the AT, you're going to get wet. Uh, there's, it's, you're going to be uh, walking through uh, uh, puddles. You're going to be walking through mud. You're going to be walking through a lot of stuff. And so these will get wet. The waterproofed shoes will hold moisture inside. And so you don't want that because then they begin to stink and then they get all nasty. And so these uh, will, when they get wet inside, and they will get wet inside on the trail, uh, they will let the, the water out, uh, which is really good for them. So um, went with the Merrells. Uh, I love these Merrell shoes. The Moab 3s. Got a fresh pair of Crocs uh, for wearing around camp, uh, for using for like creek crossings. Uh, if you're walking through uh, some, you know, knee high or waist high water, uh, you can take your sh uh, shoes and socks off, keep them dry and use these. And so a fresh pair, my old ones, uh, did the, the tread were all wore down. And so I went out and got a, a fresh pair of Crocs uh, for the trail. And really the last thing is just a couple of electronic things I'm taking with me. This is uh, my headlamp for either uh, uh, wearing around camp, wearing inside of my tent uh, to uh, light it up at the end of the night, or if I wanna do some uh, uh, night hiking, uh, I can do this. And this is the Black Diamond Storm uh, rechargeable, and so I just have to uh, keep it charged up, and it's really bright, a really good brand. I went with this Anchor uh, Power Bank going to be uh, days between towns and so uh, charge this baby up in town and then while I'm out in the woods uh, in between towns uh, I can charge my phone up with this I can charge my headlamp up with this uh, whatever needs charged up uh, this will this is what I'll use while I'm out on the trail uh, in between towns and then get into town charge this baby up again it's good to go for another four or five days so got that Went with a Garmin InReach Mini. And this is a uh, satellite GPS uh, tracking uh, device, basically. And so if I'm out on trail uh, and, and there's no signal, no phone signal, uh, this thing uh, is, is, will always get a signal. Uh, that way, uh, uh, if I need to get a hold of somebody, I can send a message out. Uh, this has an SOS uh, button if something uh, would go wrong uh, and I needed uh, some help, uh, this would uh, be the thing to go. And so that'll attach you know, right to my pack. It'll always be on. And again, I can keep it charged up with that uh, power bank there. And then other than that is, will be my phone. Uh, I'll be uh, filming all the, uh, the vlogs with my phone and a little, uh, a, a little cheap tripod that uh, picked up, we picked up at a, a store somewhere, I can't remember where. Uh, but that's what my phone is set up on right now. And so um, that's all my stuff. That's everything that I'm going to uh, be taking with me other than the small stuff. And I might do a, a, a small video or a, another video about the small stuff, you know, my uh, a first aid kit and, and all the little things. Uh, that I'll be stuffing into, but uh, these are all the big things. These are all the major things, and 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you uh, learned a little bit, something hope to answer some questions for you. Um, and, and I'm just uh, glad you're watching. Really, I really am. Uh, glad you're watching. I hope you uh, continue to watch. Uh, and if you haven't already, I would encourage you to uh, subscribe uh, to my uh, channel here, Get Busy Living, and uh, just uh, go along on this adventure with me. And so thanks again for watching. Uh, take care. I'll see you later.